Hello everybody, this is Agony333, and we are back with a brand new, brand spank fucking new Let's Play of a game I adore, The Evil Within, from none other than Shinji Mikami, the bad motherfucker who, um, made the first Resident Evil. Baddest son of a bitch alive, in my opinion, one of them. Anyways, so, we're not just gonna do a traditional Let's Play, though. So, before we get into this, let me see how... Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be doing a New Game Plus run. But no, it's not going to be easy. Trust me, not completely easy. It'll be easier, but... Okay, yeah, okay. So, New Game Plus. And let me see here. Let me fucking see here. You little fucker. You're not going to tell me which one's which, huh? You piece of shit. Fuck. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to figure this out for a second. But anyways, okay, so what we're gonna do <clears throat> is I actually beat the game on hard mode, which is Nightmare. Yeah, see? Nightmare. Okay, so yeah, these are my Nightmare saves here. So yeah, I beat... I, as you see in the day, October of 2017, I beat Evil Within on hard difficulty Nightmare... Uh, with no upgrades whatsoever. Because there's a trophy for beating the game without upgrading anything. So I figured, I was like, fuck it, two birds with one stone. Beat it on fucking hard with no upgrades to try to, you know, lessen playthroughs. So I did that. So, we'll be playing on hard, but what will make it easier is we'll have all the green gel to, like, level up our character from the previous playthrough that I did without using any of it. So we're going to have a shit ton of stuff to soup our guy up with, but it's still going to be on hard mode, so it'll still probably be challenging, but fuck it. I mean, I want some sort of challenge here, so okay. Yeah, there's my regular survival normal difficulty. Yep, autosave. Okay, so, yep, here's the brand new file here. I hope this is not going to be a mistake, because I do remember Nightmare being a little bitchy at points, but fuck it, without further ado... Let us begin and enter the Realm of Madness. Chapter 1, an emergency call. Let's load this shit up. And start the horror. But yeah, Chapter 1, an emergency call. Doesn't that just sound great? I mean, you know when there's an emergency call, something fantastic's going down. Some sort of party. <laughs> Tons of fun! It's not like we're going to be walking into a whole fucking bloodbath massacre or nothing like that, right? Hopefully not. Oh, nothing came at the window. Here we go, the opening cutscene. I'll try to shut my fucking mouth while they, uh... All units, all units, 1199, expedite cover code 3, Deacon Mental Hospital. 184 copy, code 3, ETA 3 minutes. Copy, 184. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. 131, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, it gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Joseph. You think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problems with Chicago's on the scene. Deacon Memorial on Is there any... Uh-oh. Uh God damn it! Jesus! Yeah, I'm trying to keep quiet for the story, for those of you who have not experienced the story. Junior Detective Kid. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Oh, there's a lot that's going to happen once we get there. What do you make of it? Connolly. 
Contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Yeah, so guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep the joking and shit during cutscenes to a minimum in case anyone's not experienced the story. But, okay, chapter one, an emergency call. But, at the same time, I'd say if you guys haven't experienced this game, you really need to fucking experience this game. Because, come on, this... This is a fucking great ass game here. But, oh man, these controls. I forgot how these controls feel. This is a great fucking game. This is survival horror return to form. Left in their cars. Okay, anyways. The so weapons were left in the cars. Or wait, or did he say no weapons were left in the cars? Ah, fuck, I don't even know. Look at all this. Something obviously went down. We have some shots, guys. Come on, man! It's an emergency call. It means you be shell casings out here. A party, right? Come on, nothing bad. Come on, I mean, we just got out of manhunt. We already had all those fucking people getting killed and and going ape shit. I mean, we even killed some apes for fuck's sake in that fucking monkey see monkey die level. Can't we have a fucking break? Shit. I want to go to Fridays and get some shots and fucking yeah. And delicious food. Fuck this. Okay, well, anyways, yeah, they're gonna wait for us. So, yeah, that's Joseph, our partner. And that's Julie Kidman, a new, like, trainee partner. And we are Sebastian Castellanos. As you heard? And we are gonna enter Beacon Mental Hospital, because an emergency call. Smells like blood. Uh-oh. All right. Stay sharp. This party got crazy. Oh, a little too crazy. Shit, look at the We're body there. Out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You yes. are a backup. Stay back, Kidman. That's an order. Oh man, look at all that blood on the walls. These guys are having way too much fun here. Oh shit. Did you hear something? Yeah, I'm Gonna be cracking jokes, but at the same time, trying to keep a sort of serious tone. But uh, yeah, ain't gonna probably work. Look at all those bodies, dude. Like, god damn it! Look, at the fucking Christ. Looks like we're not having a party, guys. We went from manhunt, that fucking horrible, miserable shit, to this fucking horrible, miserable shit. How fucking, uh, yeah, we can't do much but story right now. So let's follow him into the office. See, yeah, what's going on? Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is. Ruvik. I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Well, they'll do a little more than that. All right. So we heard about a mysterious character named Ruvik. Let's investigate. Come on, detective. Let's do this. Live feed. Yeah, we're fucked. We're straight up fucked, aren't we, guys? That ain't no manhunt shit. Oh, snap. Well, Sebastian, you fucked up. What did you get us into, boy? What the fuck did you get us into? Oh, God. <clears throat> yeah, I played through this bullshit on uh, hard with no upgrades. It was annoying. But this is my more enjoyed, enjoyable playthrough. I want bullshit, but I want to enjoy the bullshit and not be, like, losing my mind because of bullshit. Oh. And that is the sadist. Our first enemy encounter, the sadist. Well, if you count Ruvik, Ruvik would be the first technical bad thing we've seen, but the sadist will be the first we're actually dealing with right now. And look at him, he's he is chopping the shit out of something. Starkweather would be proud, wouldn't he, guys? Starkweather would be proud. Oh, fuck, look at that. He cut that fucker in half. 
Let's hope that's not us. Next. What are you talking about? This, this is not going to be us. Fuck no. We survived Manhunt. We can survive this. Right, guys? Fuck this sadist and his bullshit. So we're swinging back and forth to grab that knife. We're determined to get the fuck out of this mess. Alright, come on. Reach for it, Castellanos. Reach. Reach, you fucker. There we go, boy. There we go. Snip, snip. Oh, that sickening thud. Look at the blood and the grime, man. This takes me back to like a Silent Hill type feel. Just seeing those walls behind us there. I love Silent Hill, by the way. Is it going to tell us the controls? Because I don't remember all the controls. I think R... Okay, good. R1 is to crouch. Okay, so... I'm going to be staying crouched because... I don't think I've really, like, alerted him since I've ever played, but... I don't really feel like doing that. Okay, good. It does tell you the controls, even though... Okay. So, yeah, right now, even though we're not going to be able to level up our guy... Or have any weapons for during this first chapter. But, yeah, we're going to be sneaking by this motherfucker. Wait... Not right now yet. I just remembered what we got to do. Okay. So if you didn't notice, let me see something here. The hell? There's a key over here, and he's gone now, so. Gotta go grab this key. Yep, there it is. That's the way out, is these keys. He's right there. So, ordinary keys. A key ring found in the mental hospital basement. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Good to know! I love little tidbits about random keys and other sordid bullshit. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. I hope to Christ he does not see us. Oh my god, that was close as fuck. Oh. He's gonna go back to that body, right? Ugh. That's, ugh. Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit written all over it, right? Alright, so. Let's go through this door. We got the keys. We're finding a way out of this mess. It couldn't possibly get much worse than this, right, guys? It's got to get better, right? Okay, let's... Okay, fuck creeping around. I don't think we really matter, so... We'll do a walk, because, yeah, I, I can't run. We got a checkpoint. Okay, we're going to... He's right down there. Yeah, I... Oh, look at this. A gallery of other assorted weaponry. And look, I can see it. Castellanos cannot, though. There's nothing we can do. We have to trip this. And he knows now. He knows, guys. He knows. And here he comes. Shit. Yeah, run, you fucker. Run. Running like hell. This is his run, guys. I would be freaking the fuck out. Ram through that door. And he gets us in the leg. shit. God, the surround sound in his headphones is killing me right now. Oh my god. Run, motherfucker, run! Open it, open it, open it. Uh, evade this shit. Evade that shit. And whoosh. Oh, amazing. Ugh, yummy, right? God damn, a pool of blood. What a great entrance. Wow. Yeah, that part is still intense, even this time, at least to me it is, even though it's a pretty easy part. Yeah, we are already wounded. We have no weapons. This is what I call survival horror. And I love survival horror. That's my favorite fucking genre. I mean, Resident Evil... All this shit. Yeah, let's move our sorry ass across this room. Because we are still in escape mode here. This fucking door. We're safe for the moment, or are we? For those of you who played this, you know the answer. For those of you who have not played this, let's go down here because I think there may be a file or something. I will be reading the files for you guys just in case there's people who have, uh. The files I come across. I'm not finding every goddamn file, but. If there's anyone who is, viewed, uh, who is viewing this who has not played this game, I'll be trying to keep the story for you guys. 
And we gotta drop into this nasty ass shit. Climb up this fucking ladder. And we will be seeing this place a much later on. Wink, wink, yeah. Like I did in the manhunt thing. It's it's not bonus, though. It's not bonus, but yeah, we'll be seeing something like this a much later on. But, um, fuck it. Let's, let's go down here first. I think that's the way we have to go, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not the sure. Exit? Yeah, where is the exit? And yeah, there's a lovely body right here. Actually, that could be the way out. I'm not sh so I'm not certain. I know one of them, I think, is a bonus room. Locked. We can't do nothing with that. We can't punch it nothing. Okay, that's the way out. Okay. Another locked. Nothing we can do. Okay, let's, let's go back and check these rooms. Because I'd like to not just run over shit. I'm doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for you guys. In case there's a file, something intriguing, mystifying, that we can absorb... To enthrall us in this amazing world. No, I, I'm being for real though. This is an amazing fucking world. This Shinji Mikami is the shit. Okay, so is there anything in here for us, or is this for later on? Okay, I does not appear that there's anything in here that I can recall or see. So that was a waste of fucking time. Thanks, Sebastian. You know it would help if you could walk. Faster than a snail's fucking pace, man. But I don't blame you. I mean, he got his fucking ankle or leg cut by a fucking chainsaw. He's taking it like a fucking man. I mean, look at this. He's he's not losing blood or nothing. Okay, this one's all barred up. I'm sorry, I did not see that. So yeah, let's keep on a moving. Keep on a moving. <clears throat> like the manhunt playthrough, frolicking. I'm trying to frolic here. God damn it. Okay. It's not working so well since my fucking ankle's all fucked up, but whatever. And here's a ladder. Is this escape? Is this the way out that we so desperately want? Let's find out. A okay, slow as fuck. Slow as fuck ascension here. But hey, like I said, he's injured. We are almost up here. All right. So, it's about time for this video to end, but let's end on something special. And by special, I mean there is a quick note right here that I do remember. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where's, where's the fucking note? Oh, is it because I collected all that? Wait a minute. I'm a fucking fool. Let me see. One second, guys. Yeah, since I already collected them, they're not going to be here. Well, fuck. Okay, so let me try to guess here. Okay. <clears throat> I believe that file we would have already found by now. So I'm going to read through this real quick. So old note from Sewer. I believe it was that room down there we checked out that was empty. Beside the locked gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would, which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find... An elevator leading outside. You would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Huh. Ruvik, maybe? And here's another one that we would have found right there. So, boiler room note. 1300. Stem system operation test begins. 1315. Roll a little too quick. Success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. 1330. Anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. <clears throat> the stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor orders the stem system terminated. 1345. Staff begin complaining of nausea and falling unconscious one after another. Those who can still move plan their escape from the hospital, but for unknown reasons are unable to. Though the SEM system should have been deactivated, subjects maintain brainwave synchronization with the host. 1400 E. That man appeared. So, a lot of questions. A lot of questions, right, guys? But alright, so that's the end of this video. We will be finishing up our escape soon here. So I'm going to stop right here. 
next time, we'll be trying to get the fuck on out of here. We're wounded, no weapons, and we have a psychotic fuck with a chainsaw chasing us. Let's see how well this escape goes. See you then, guys. Peace.